Hey guys, it's Nina and I'm back with another video. So if you haven't noticed already, I'm in a different backdrop. I'm in my bedroom. I had been in my living room for a while and it was just time for me to do something different, you know, just mix things up. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I would love for you to stay. So please feel free to hit that subscribe button and hit your bell too so you know when I upload. When I was starting on YouTube, I was more focused on the do's and don'ts of locks, but it really is a personal journey. It really depends on what works for your hair, your hair type, texture, density, all of that. Some people are okay with using beeswax. Some people are okay with twisting often, retwisting often. Those are not things that I suggest, but if they work for you and you've been doing them for years, it is what it is. But in the words of A. Marie, there is one thing that I feel like you should not do with your locks because I feel like it's a waste. It's just a risk that's not worth taking. And that one thing is using direct heat appliances on your locks. That includes curling irons, curling wands, flat irons, anything that you're gonna put directly on your locks to style them. And this is not to like put anybody on blast. This is just in case you have thought about it. If you're not sure about it, this is my two cents on it. Just to be clear, this is my unscientific theory because I have not tried this yet. However, I have worn weaves before and I have been a loose natural before and I have used curling irons, flat irons on the hair when it's not clean and I always would end up with this burnt smell. Like, I don't know if you know it, but it's a very distinctive burnt hair smell. Frankly, it smells like damage, okay? Locks hold onto odors and they can end up smelling burnt if you're constantly using heat tools. And your locks are so layered and so dense that it's gonna take more work for that heat to actually penetrate the lock. To me, that just means more time that you're leaving the appliance on your locks and more chances for damage. Now, depending on how thick your locks are, it might take a little bit more work to do certain styles, but there are so many ways to style your locks with just water and some sort of tool, some sort of basic tool that doesn't require any electricity. The thing is, locks take very well to being manipulated in a style. Anyone who ties their hair up a certain way and you take it down and your hair is kind of like flipped, that's how easy it is to manipulate your locks to get them into the shape that you want. If you want curls, there are a bevy of options available to you. You can do flexi rods. I have these two sizes. You can do perm rods of all different sizes. You can do, what is this? Pipe cleaners. You can do pipe cleaner curls. You can also do foam rollers, which a lot of folks are doing on YouTube now, and I wanna try it. It's not something I ever thought about doing. If you wanna do a braid out and you take more locks per braid, you can end up with a curly, nice curly wavy look. If you wanna straighten your locks, as I've talked about, add water to them. You don't need a flat iron, you don't need a curling iron. To me, what it boils down to is just patience. When it comes to styling, knowing that your hair is gonna need more time to dry when it's wet, I'll usually do a flexi rod set on a day when I know I don't have anything going on and I can keep the rollers in for as long as I can. Typically when I do braids, I will just keep them in for a few days, but sometimes I wanna just do it overnight. So I would say just give yourself time, plan ahead. I just feel like putting direct heat on your locks is a risk that is just not worth taking. So that's all I have for today's video. Let me know what you think about this. Let me know if you've ever tried to use direct heat on your locks. Don't expect me to do no experiment on here because I don't need to. I get everything I want from the tools that I already have. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed already, please remember to do that and I will see you next time.